Hi, I'm David at the Air Repair Shop and today I was going to be showing how to remove a pressure relief valve in one of our kayak floors with the standard stamp metal wrench that comes in a repair kit. Sometimes there's a few tricks that are necessary to actually get a valve removed with them if the valve is being very stubborn. Most times with one of our pressure relief valves, a little bit of torque will take it off. In this case, this is a stubborn valve and I want to use a little bit more torque force. A couple really nice tools to have available uh, in your shop are a pair of slip joint pliers and also um, uh, locking pliers are very nice as well. What I'm going to do in this case is just grasp my wrench with the pliers and give myself several more inches of torque force, apply it to this valve and start turning. Now in this case that was just enough to get it started and I can start removing it with my wrench. You'll notice in our previous scene that we were working on this floor up on pressure. What that allows me to do when I'm taking this valve off is to have a lot more torque force going into my valve rather than twisting the fabric. So a, a, a tight floor, if your valve is holding enough air to keep it tight for a while, is about the best way to work on one of these when you're taking a valve out. At this point I'm going to be putting my new valve in and I'm going to show you how that's done. It's pretty simple. You can actually start doing this by hand before you move to the wrench. And I'm just going to make sure that the valve base sitting inside of the floor is well lined up in this hole. If it's off center that can't be good because sometimes you'll get kind of a weird bite on the fabric. It can cause a leak. So I'm going to have a very centered valve base and I'm just going to insert this by hand grasping the base of the valve through the floor material with a couple fingers. I'm just going to start threading it down. At this point, after we've torqued the valve down, let's say about two-thirds of the way by hand, you can actually put the floor back up on pressure. We're using the same principle that we're trying to uh, take a lot more of our torque force and apply it directly onto the valve. And so at this point, I'm going to take my wrench, put it in place, and just torque it down the rest of the way. Now it doesn't need to be incredibly, incredibly tight, just good and snug. You need to perhaps in the future be aware that this will be removed, so you don't want it uh, <laughs> to be too much of a, a challenge. Now after we've snugged this valve down with our wrench, I'm going to just do a quick test up on pressure with some soapy water in the center around the perimeter of the valve. Just make sure we don't have any other kind of leaks going on. 